Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil Guru 04. Today we have exercise number 7 for chapter number 4. It's the final exercise of chapter number 4 and it's very important that how to annotate our surface in AutoCAD Civil 3D. If we have very nice drawing but we have not annotation then it's nothing. So we must need to know about annotation in AutoCAD. Civil 3D. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Civil Guru 04 and uh, like my Facebook page Plan Developer and Architect Designer where you can share your issues about land surveying and AutoCAD Civil 3D. So let's start our tutorial. our surface as we know surface are used to tell a story about the shape of a piece of land I have presented nearly a dozen different ways to tell that story in previous exercises but I have yet to discuss the most obvious and uh, most common way telling the story with text in this exercise we will use three types of labels to annotate our surface spot elevation labels slope labels and contour labels kindly keep your notebook and write down all steps one by one step number one open the drawing name labeling surface located in the description link you can access me to get the drawing if you don't find that the top right top right viewport is zoomed into the north end north end of the project near the location where the magenta line meets the center line of the existing road you can see our task is to label the elevation of the existing road where these two center lines are meeting. So how can we do them? Step number two, click one of the contour lines to select the surface and then click, then click add labels and go to the add surface label. Step number three, in the add labels dialog box, select the part elevation as the label type. Label type is the part elevation. Step number four, verify that the part elevation label style is set to elevation only. Yes, part elevation label style set to elevation only. Click add. Step number 5, click add snap to the northern endpoint of the magenta center line. Here we want to show our elevation, so I will select and a label is placed at the location which we have selected. Step number 6, pan to the south where the road center line bends at a 90 degree angle yes we can see here note that uh, the steep slope to the south of the road in this area you want to measure and label the slope in this area to determine whether homes can be built here or if guardrails will be required for the road. So here we have steep slopes and we want to check our slope. If you have already opened your add label dialog box then very good. Select label type as 
लॉ टेन स्टेप नंबर सेवन लेबल टाइप ए स्लो स्टेप नंबर एट फॉर लेबल टाइप स्लोप एंड स्टेप नंबर नाइन विल बी वेरीफाइड दैट स्लोप लेबल स्टाइल इज टू सेट टू परसेंट एग्जिस्टिंग एंड क्लिक एड then step number 10 when prompted at the command line press enter to accept the default of one point here we have one point and two point we need to select one point and step number 11 click a point to the north to the south of the road to label the slope press escape when we will press escape we can see that a label appear with slope step number 12 click the label and then click the square grip at the mid point of the arrow move your cursor across the drawing and note how the label change yes here you can see your slope if you will go any other place it will show different slope so we can analyze our surface using this slope labels step number 13 is the add label dialog box is already open yes we have already open skip to the next step if not click one of the contour line as we have done previous then step number 14 for label type select contour multiple label type select contour multiple and verify that the names of all Three label styles begin with existing, existing major label, existing minor labels, and existing major labels. Step number fifteen. Click two points. Click add, and then click two points. In the drawing, that stretch across several contours. so we are adding a contour multiple click two points in the drawing that stretch across many contours if you have heavy surface it will take some time to load then click the contour level appears where contour fall between the two points you have selected there yes which we were selected you can see a small label when you will click on that it will show all your contours label step number 16 press escape to clear the previous command and then click one of the newly created label yes we have selected one of them notice the line that appear click one of the grip and move it to the new location to change the location of the line yes if we will uh, change our location of line it will give us label with different so if we need more labels on another contours then we can select add again and click on the any contours you can see here it's show a label across our line so you can see how we can annotate our surface using autocad civil 3d and uh, with this method uh, we can analyze our surface very good hope you like this video
kindly subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get latest notification about civil 3d and if you have any issues about land surveying then you can also contact me on my facebook page or comment below in the video thank you goodbye